Now, for the sixth, sixth stage, the Siege of Athens. The Siege of Athens. I enjoyed this stage very much on the original. Like they're just motherfucking hushing all over you. And that is that like, special extreme level guy that is a unique guy that is chest is over there. <laughs> and it's just so awesome. I think that guy was chest that uh, figuring this out now. And then it was extremely easy of course, but I like it. Over the past several centuries, the Greek city-states have expanded their influence both in Hellas and overseas. Now, a powerful coalition led by the dual monarchy of Sparta is challenging your city-state of Athens for dominance in a conflict that has lasted three decades. In the wake of the disastrous Sicilian expedition, Sparta has seen... I'll stay banned, the motherfucking hockey beats. I was going to solve Sparta. You have no hope of defeating the battle-hardened Spartans in the field at present, but there is a chance that you may be able to defend the city long enough for reinforcements and supplies to arrive and turn the tide in your favor. The Spartan army is reliant on a large baggage train of supplies. If it is captured, their siege will be delayed considerably. Athens resisted. There was no hope that they resisted for months. The city was in a visceral to ruins and famine, people each in order when it finally went down. And Socrates was there saying shit. <laughs> Four artifacts. It's the same thing as before, but that is Chashes. Xaxis. On the old one, on the original one. They changed the freaking date to the very start of the Peloponnesian War. If you look back, you see it was on 405 at the end of the Peloponnesian War over there. Athens here, Helen's spawn. You can probably see the Helen's spawn here, you cannot see it on the, the other map. Oh, let's change it. Here, you're just here farming, and there is this maddening invasion of phalanxes and mad horsemen, heavy cavalry from Aegina, Sparta, Aegina, and Sparta again. And Yeah, this guy. Spa Jason, it's Jason. It's not Shashes, it's Jason. Okay, I thought it was Shashes. So, uh, that's. I do not know if I should say that it's more correct. Because Jason does not motherfucking exist. But yeah, it actually fits. I actually claim it is Sparta because fuck logic. Hey, this is the stage, you look. How crazy it is, you just see this motherfucking guy coming at you. You are mighty, mighty atoms with these powerful city walls. Sparta does not even have city walls. It has no freaking walls, that's the deal. Okay, this is uh, the original. And I remember I, I did not like the remake very much. They were not very loyal to that original. One at all. Plus, the lacking of that mythical Jason unit. 
I mean, we could have just put some some boss guy like how was his name man? I mean who defeated Athens basically the solo and shit I forgot well that looks like it pretty much That looks pretty much like what I just showed you. Okay. Okay. There is a tab and up in the Dalian League. The accuracy is much more beautiful. Do any shit. I, I'm trading with the Daniels, that makes more sense. Trading with this part. I'm so poor. That is my scout. I have a scout on the other one. Oh, my scout is inside. I have no... Top right and phalangite. Phalangite. I'm beating down Spartan on my landy arm. They're not so beaten, really. I should have converted a few. No resources in here. The deal is that I have to flee. It's the deal here. Well, fuck, they invaded me. They have more soldiers, I should have fixed that row, that hole on the wall. Okay. Okay. I have no idea where the resources are. Ships do not help me much. If I open a hole here, they are going to come for that hole. I can put a shit ton of ship over there. That should be it. I want gold. What if there is no motherfucking gold? Fuck. Ah. 
that so good. No, the other one I just told you about was bugged, I think. Because I could make host ashes. Greeks cannot make host ashes. I can barely make an Asher at all. These guys are not being dumb. Atka is destitute of three. I cut out all of the trees. Apollo is going to kill me. Some stone over there. I should have made the town center out of this shit. There's no ship, there's no fish nearby. And he has a limited supply of soldiers, they cannot keep on attacking me like that. the hardest scout to convince. It's only wood. my boats. What a battle, let's see. Motherfucking items. How cool does it look? Like my shit. Academy units have no gold. What other threats lying around? The stage got more in tanks. That ash that I should be using then. That's the ash that I can make, not cavalry ash. On the 
your reach now will just make a shit ton of cavalry ashes behind the walls and that would eliminate the enemy instantly. The highest of ease. This real. It's fire deep to do more damage. Only the damn Athens. No, it's fine. Athens lost. Did they choose to make me Athens? Of course. Guys are dead. They even gave up. You don't even destroy the dogs. Like, I did it. Well, shit. They can destroy the dogs and that shit. Make a string towers. The other one, I think I have at least the towers. Where we search. I'm not sure. I have ships. I need gold. There is an island with gold.
Two little fish in the sea. Hmm. I do not have To capture shit. Are they producing those units or they're just expanding? I'm unlimited supply. I have no means to take a closer look. Weapon which has extreme range, just I cannot go beyond fifty population. Plus dangerous to maneuver with two or more. The original. They would get in each other's way. Now, since they are threatless, no collision. It's just peaceful. This farm upgrade does just increase the efficiency of the farming on the wood cost. It does not make me get any faster. Just to save wood. To take this every time, if even faster, should the geeks be allowed to take that shit? I thought they did not have that technology. Nine plus two, seven plus three, just one more. I have six slots. Go back home. I just scout and that's it. That's one more population I just spent.
Can I actually make some gates now? Can I not? Okay, I have been playing without gates and I have no need for them. Food over there. Gardens. Which demon was demon? Was this? I think they destroyed. It's very little gold though. The army has that good provision. Well, fuck. I have nothing more. I should just march down on them. Yes. Touch. Now, to do that. What do I do? My ships, my, my loyal ships have to go. Just you. I've never saw a single path. Believe that I have not. The animation looks awful. There's nothing to do with the sea. There's nothing happening on the sea and the thing is. It spawned the sea animation of its own. Keep sending soldiers. Do they get new soldiers periodically? Or what? Just evade my enemy. If I make a piece of cavalry, I bring the enemies to my boats. Where is my boat? Oh, well, they are heavy arm, they can not stop. Going shit. Where's the boat? They cannot sense me, they have to be yes. So I can bait them with these mega holes and kill them.
now it kind of sucked. And the nodes are going to be able That's another population point. They killed two. There's no more gold in the world. Except by three. Can make us may have that one. No population, and I'm making this shit. My god, my IQ is reduced to zero. He's actually far away. I got my fishing empire. Repeat that deed. Oh, 
Luca? Não. Aqui não tem que arredar acesso à cidade tecnológica. Aqui não tem que ser que eu vi falar que você é boa. Eu tô com as finitas. O que é essa? Quem é as trocas? Isso themselves that is stopping me the way so no problem. The endless surprise of catapults. I just eat through the enemy lines. I just, I just need to take it, not to carry it home. Literally the fit the enemy man. That's what would they do with their supplies, like they are bad. But there's nothing more to see. I think they have a constant supply, they spawn new things. That's how they can keep attacking me. That's interesting because on the original the, the game would just be dead. The enemy would never attack again. And there would be just uh, the brown guys. There was those horsemen. And they would be unquiet. They would not stay and got the other things. They would be roaming the stage. So from time to time I would get to convert one. Actually convert most the enemy with a single old man and win the game with a single priest. And then, as they would be roaming, these things would be unprotected. We just literally walk with a scout and win the stage. Well, this was it for the Siege of Athens. Next one was my favorite stage to play. It was just fun. Xenophon's March. As you can see, it's deep within the territory. He went to the Fajian army and shit. His account is awesome. His writing style is awesome. His very siege of atoms, the end of the Peloponnesian War, was Xenophon that wrote. Thucydides did not finish it for some reason. He did the first 20 years, and Xenophon takes off right where Thucydides left. Right here on the Hellenic Front, when Alcibiades took over the arm again. And there is a description of the failed Sicilian expedition they mentioned. They took Alcibiades out of command and Nikias was there, knew that he could not come back home without a victory. And he knew he was going to lose and he chose 
to destroy the entire island, fuck it all over, instead of uh, Iginon of coming back, because he knew how democracy was, instead of being judged a coward by the people and voted to be killed, he chose to die there then, with the whole army, uh, and condemn Athens to the feet. Awesome shit. But I'm getting sleepy now. This is it for today.